Hi guys, Barmy for Spurred on outside the lane at finished Tottenham 1, last one. I've got, Le I've got uh, Ryan here, sorry, from the Boston Supporters Club all the way over in America. Ryan, right. first of all, uh, tell us about the Boston Supporters Club a little bit and then we'll get on to the game. Uh, you know, should everyone who goes to Boston find the Boston Supporters Club to watch the games over there? Yeah, any years who find themselves in Boston, come down to the Kent Sale, you'll be treated well. We're open for every single match. If it's at 7 a.m., Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter, come on down. And how many people do you tend to get to the games there? Uh, it varies, anywhere from 10 to 350. Fantastic, okay, and obviously a very frustrating afternoon at the lane, especially for someone who's come so far, yeah. I don't doubt. What did you make of it? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been drawing a lot of matches lately. Uh, they played us tough. Um, I think there was a lot of non-calls. We got one. Yeah. Uh, from the referee, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Um, converted that. Um, I think the goal that we let up was a little bit soft. A couple mistakes, and, and there you have it, UN 1-1. Uh, yeah. But uh, So it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, but I think we played okay, and I think we deserved to win. Yeah, I think we deserve to win as well. But you, you know, you got to get over the line with these ones. Um, I was going to say is, what? How much do you feel? I've been asking everyone here. You know, how much do you feel these last few draws have been a result of missing uh, Harry Kane and Toby Alderweireld? Uh, I think it's more so about missing Kane because uh, I think the problem all year, even when Kane was playing, was in the final third, uh, not in the back. Uh, and I think that the defense has stepped up well to replace Alderweireld better than the uh, offensive players have stepped up to replace Kane. And I don't think, I don't think Jansen's a direct re replacement for Kane. Uh, I think he can come off the bench and add something a little different. But as a direct replacement, I don't think it quite works. Okay, and um, you know, obviously you're from America. Maybe people have different views, more non-biased views over there. How are Tottenham um, regarded over there in terms of their possibility of potentially winning the, the Premier League over the next couple of seasons? Are they seen as a general threat by you guys? No. Really? Uh, yeah, no, no. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of United fans and City fans and Chelsea fans and Arsenal fans, and and, and they never really give Spurs much credit. Um, you know, always an underdog, even after last year. Yeah. This is how it is. That's a shame. Not much yeah. different from here then, I guess. All right, mate. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Guys, remember, check out the Boston Supporters Club over there in America. If you're heading over, I'm certainly going to do it. Sounds like a laugh. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Thanks a lot, Ryan.